Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I got it. <laughs> I'm nervous, okay. <laughs> You're doing great. Um, should we start? Okay, I'm, I I was rolling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I'm cracking jokes. <laughs> Don't use that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, can you give us a brief introduction of yourself? Yes, uh, my name is uh, Mike Sanfilippo. Um, I'm a, a clockmaker. I've been a clockmaker for about 40, 42 years. Um, originally from Illinois, around the Chicagoland area. Uh, moved down to Tennessee about eight years ago to take over Nashville Clock. The, uh, I, I was trying to ask you about, like, I was curious about, like, how you treat time, like, how your attitude about time is. Okay. So could you elaborate how, like, being in the profession of clock repair, like, affected your attitude about time, or do you have any thing you want to talk about time? Yeah, for my for myself, I, I look at time differently than a lot of other people and clockmakers do, um, because time is really just you know a moment in time. There you know there is no time in the future or past. Those that is the future and the past. Um, so really, the important thing is the moment that you're living in now. Um, what we do with time, as far as repairing timepieces, um, that's history. Okay, these are these are all clocks from history. Um, there's clocks out on the showroom floor that are, are clocks from the future. Okay, there'll be people that are working on clothes in the future. But as far as time itself, I've learned over the years, professionally and personally, that live in the moment. You know, the, what's important is the moment. Because you never know when it's going to end. Since you talked about how, like, bringing past clocks to life again, what, what would you tell people who are like dwelling in the past or like saddened by their memories that cannot be created anymore? Mm. Because like you're bringing time back. Yes. You also said that we need to live in the moment, right? Correct. So what are you going to suggest to the people who are like dwelling in the past, like, like having memories about nostalgic memories about the past, so they're like kind of dwelling or saddened by what, what are you going to tell them? Right. Well, the important thing is the present, okay? Um, but I, I also understand, and that's one of the reasons I enjoy doing what I do, is uh, I enjoy the fact that I can bring back memories. But remember, those are memories from the past, but they're important to people. You know, the sentimental value is really what keeps clockmakers today in business. I say, Remember the past, enjoy the past memories, but live in the moment. And I feel like you're like making the past to fuel the present moment. You're Correct. Like, yeah. Correct. That, that's a very good way of putting it. Yeah. Um, because the, the past is, even though the past is the past, it's still part of the present. It's, it's still what formed the present started in the past. And if, uh, you know, that part, that remembering that clock from grandma's house brings happiness to you today, that's what it's all about. That's why we. That's why we do what we do in clock repair, um, and that's probably why why people will continue to have old clocks repaired for many years. I remember buying one clock in Paris, and I absolutely love it. And I, I, I that is the only clock that I bring from Korea to here. Uh huh. So I, I totally agree with how clock can bring memories. And absolutely. You reminded me of that. So thank you. And see that, and that's and that's exactly what we talk about with that story. That's your story, yeah. okay? And that's the one clock that you bring with you from place yeah, to place. Yeah, remind me of the joy when I absolutely. First that that's what it's all about. And I was like forgetting about it. Thank mm -hmm. you for bringing back that memory. You're welcome. Like if you're uncomfortable talking about that subject, we can just stop talking. Okay, that, so that's your last one. Other yeah, than. This is the last one. Um, well, I, you know what? Let me let me give it a shot. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'm not going to bring up anything, but you know, of, of about my going on. But I'll, I'll give it a shot. Go ahead, ask the question again. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> uh, there are some people who are like going through a rough time, so they they just think that like, oh, I want this time to end. Well, like, what would you give them? Like, what would you talk to them if you would be able to? Well, I would say that that. Times get tough. We all go through tough times. Um, the time is precious. Okay, that's one thing we haven't talked about in the interview is time itself in this very moment is precious. Um, so there's really nothing in life that could make you get to that point where you should stop time. 
stop that life. So I would say to them, it's not that bad. Try to get help. And time is precious. I think I'm glad that you answered because I think you touched a really good point. The time is precious that yeah. I didn't include it in my interview. So thanks for. You're welcome.